As you can imagine, I am very particular when purchasing pretty much anything for my home, literally anything. I want it to be unique and thoughtful. I'm not the type of gal that will just, you know, go on Amazon and order any dish towel to my house. I want to look into nice versions or unique versions for around the same price. So today we are going to go through general household items and what I would buy for these, if I, these household, uh, these general items. Basically unique suggestions for general household items, stuff you actually need. Let's put some design and stylish flair on your kitchen sponge. And yes, kitchen sponges are one of the items I'm going to talk about. Um, all right, cool, let's get started. The first item that we're gonna talk about are laundry baskets. Everyone needs a laundry basket, and I feel like no thought really goes into a cute laundry basket. I personally like these canvas ones because they're just easy, and I like my laundry basket to be like in a bag because I don't have a giant laundry room where I can have you know these amazing like carts things. I'm weirdly into this like wheel logo laundry basket. I don't know when I would ever use this, but it's kind of fun. You basically just have to have a big space that you can wheel your laundry basket. But if you're like me, I mean, I finally have my own laundry room in my new place in LA, but in Chicago, we had a shared one in the basement and I was not about to like haul a giant wicker basket down there. And if you're balling on a budget, MoMA has a laundry basket weirdly, but I like the ones that have like a stand, but you can take the bag out as well. So this is a cool one if you wanna spend that money. And if you live by yourself or you don't have that much laundry, or if you're traveling, I highly suggest getting a bagu. These little bags literally scrunch up to the size of a wallet that you can throw in your purse. So every time I travel, I have these bagu bags in my suitcase that I can throw dirty laundry in. And they're just really easy for pretty much anything. So you could use this for laundry if you don't have a ton, but I highly suggest getting these bagus for traveling. I literally keep one in my purse just in general if I ever need just like an extra bag. Um, but it's good for laundry. So moving on stepping stools. Let's talk about stepping stools or just like little stools in general. Obviously going on Facebook marketplace or Etsy, you can find cute little wooden vintage stepping stools. You could also follow in Emma Chamberlain's steps and get a Lumen's acrylic stepping stool, but check out that price, that's not too fun. I did find one a little bit cheaper on Amazon, still a little bit expensive for a stepping stool, but I also think having an industrial stepping stool looks nice, just a nice chrome silver or this cool dark green one or this one that has like a little bit of orange touch to it. Or if anything, just avoid the faux wood ones because that's not good. I also think just like a classic stepping stool is cool. Just like this little little classic guy. This doesn't just have to be in a kid's room. You could have this out in your kitchen or wherever you need a little stool. I think a lot of people who have pets immediately go and buy a lot of their pet gear or dog beds from, you know, like a PetSmart or Petco or whatever. But if you do just a little bit of research online, you can find some pretty unique dog beds like this one from Zara Home, I think is super cute. By the way, I'm trying to avoid Amazon as much as I can in these videos, but because these are general items, you might see some Amazon stuff pop up. Okay, this is a very expensive dog bed, but I stumbled upon it on Etsy and I think it's really cool. And that's all I have to say about it. It's a little, it's a little expensive. Same with this Deuce and Deuce and dog bed. They come out with new, designs for their dog beds all the time and I think they're they're fun and it's a good size. I think a dog bed is a good area to add in like a funky fabric. I'm constantly trying to push color and fun patterns on you as you all know. I don't know, Etsy has a lot of 
fun options like this plaid one or this old vintage floral one. I'll have all of this stuff linked down in the description, by the way. And I absolutely love these little dog beds. They're so cute. They're like a little corduroy and some fun colors. When I was doing research on these dog beds, it actually made me kind of sad because I miss Mizugoi, the goo. I, I actually saw this adorable dog bed in Paris and now it makes me want another small dog and I want an actual bed for the dog because how cute is this little, this little little lady. I'm really craving dog's attention currently. Now that, you know, we've been without the goo for some time, I have not been around dogs. Luckily, my cousins are bringing three dogs to Thanksgiving, thank God, because I need, I need a little doggy. <laughs> a good old trash bin. I had this just general trash can from I think the container store at my old Chicago place. But now that I'm moving to LA, I've kind of gone through all of my stuff and got rid of things that I, I don't love. Also, this trash bin was kind of dirty and gross. So we're done with that one. And I've done my research and I found some pretty cute trash bins. But you know, sometimes for the kitchen, you just need one that's trash, recycle, and there's not really any like cute options out there. I found this one from Zara Home, which I thought was pretty cute. If you want one with like the foot pedal and whatnot. I also really like this cute green one from Bed Bath & Beyond. But again, you would need two for recycling, one for trash, I don't know. I, st I still like it though. I have this container store little wooden trash bin. I think Kate might have it too but this is just a general trash bin for your bathroom, which I think is nice. That's a little bit easier to find in my opinion, bathroom trash bins, cause they're smaller and they can be cute. It's more so the kitchen ones that are a little bit more difficult, but I do, I do like these, these options. Also fun random tip. If you have a partner that is obsessed with like a sports team and you don't really want sports memorabilia like hanging around your place. I think getting like a sports team trash bin is actually kind of unique. In my Chicago place, we had an old like vintage trash bin and I didn't mind it. I was like, oh, this is actually kind of a fun, like weird way to incorporate that in your design. I don't know, instead of having like a flag on your wall, so. Let's take a short little break to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Your business can really stand out if you have an amazing website and Squarespace makes it super easy. You can engage with your audience and you can sell pretty much just about anything from products to content to even your time. I'm actually in the process of building a Squarespace website for my secret project, and it has been so incredibly easy using their platform. They have amazing templates to choose from that you can start with, and then you can kind of alter the design to your liking, and I am quite the dummy when it comes to knowing how to build a website and Squarespace is literally the only platform that makes it easy enough for uh, me to do it. <laughs> Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash pagewassel to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And thanks again, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. Call me crazy, but I do think you should have a cute sponge at your kitchen sink because even if you keep the sponge in your sink, I still want it to be appealing. You can still see it. For me, I had like a little bowl next to my kitchen faucet and I love the scrub daddy. I just think it's cute to have like a little smiley face next to your sink and they are the best sponges. Scrub daddy, check them out. And they come in a variety of colors. I had just like the yellow little guy sitting next to my sink. I just think it's an item that you see. If you see this item every day, then why not get something that's 
fun and appealing. Sometimes I'll buy like a hot pink little sponge because it's funny and it's fun and it's cute. I, don't, I guess I just, maybe I put too much thought into every item in my house. I don't know. I just, I even want my sponges to look good. When it comes to bath mats, I actually don't love the bamboo ones. I like the look of them, but they are pretty terrible for actually drying off when you get out of the shower. Usually it just, the water goes through it. So it looks cool, but they're impractical. So I actually get my bath mats off of Etsy. They have like these vintage rug bath mats. They're not exactly bath mats. I get it. People have been like, this isn't, this isn't right. But you could put a layer of something under it. I just like a rug in a bathroom more than a bath mat itself. I have found a few cute bath mats that I do like. And my mom doesn't keep her bath mat out at all times. She actually hangs it over the side of her bathtub and then we put it down. And I say we because I live here and that is the rule that I have been instructed. You put it down, you take a shower, you get out, you dry off and then you fold it up and you put it back. So you could do that. But I actually like a cute little vintage bath mat rug, which are all over Etsy. I find shower curtains to be the toughest thing to find when I'm buying a shower curtain. My mom has always gotten linen ones, which I think are, are good, but I've always wanted like a fun pattern shower curtain. I've never been able to find one. I've found like a few online, but I wouldn't say I'm obsessed with any of these. I do think if you live alone or if you're, you know, in your first apartment or whatever, I do kind of like these like acrylic see-through ones, but you know, sometimes you want privacy. So I don't think those always work. I am actually going to be creating my own shower curtain when I move to LA. I'm going to find a cool fabric and have it made by like a seamstress or whoever it is that makes that type of thing. I'm going to make a custom shower curtain. So if you want to see that, then follow and subscribe and stay tuned because that's going to be a fun project because I really can't find a shower curtain I really like. Um, so I'm gonna try and make one. For kitchen drying racks, you know, where you dry your dishes after you do them, a lot of people have these bamboo ones. I don't think they look bad, but I just think there are better options. I personally love like a stainless steel or any type of metal drying rack over the bamboo for some reason. I also think this like vintage-y one is cool. It is a little bit Magnolia home, so it would have to be in the right space, but I am obsessed with these wall drying racks. I found one on Finish Design Shop and I also found one on Etsy. And yes, they are a little bit pricier, but if you live in a small space, this could actually be super worth it to invest in a wall drying rack. You clear up the counter space. I have not been in the place I rented in LA. Kate actually went and just viewed it for me and I trust her, but I don't, so I don't know. I mean, I can tell by photos and and the video that I can see the space by photos and videos, but I just don't know, like, do I need a drying rack? Will I need a wall one? The place isn't that small, but I love the look of this. So if I need a drying rack and there's a wall for it, this is what I'll be getting. I think these are so, 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 so cool. <laughs> They're very cool. I say cool a lot. I know everyone points it out. Everyone says you say cool and you, need a bigger vocabulary. Someone, someone commented the other day about like how I don't know facts and I don't know things and I don't have a good vocabulary. And I was like, well then I don't, I don't know what to say. This is just me talking, having fun. And if you don't like my vocabulary, then I don't know what to tell you. This is what I know. This is what's in my head. I could study up and fake it for you, but that's no fun. Okay. I'm, I'm done with my rant. When it comes to storage baskets, these are kind of an annoying purchase because I feel like you always need quite a bit of them. Like you need like five or six baskets for your closet or wherever, and they can get kind of pricey. I do like the crates ones that are becoming more popular. I think you can find these for pretty cheap and I do like them, but I wouldn't want these like in my closet, I guess. They would be more 
for storage out in my garage or like in an office or like in a cabinet. I don't know. I don't, I'm not like a huge fan of having these on display, but I do think it's a nice affordable way to get storage bins. I also like this tray from Blue Dot. I think this could be fun in a bathroom cabinet or out in a bathroom. I think it's a nice shape. And again, I like like a steel or metal because I think most people get a wicker basket, which I also do like, but I specifically like these natural rattan ones more so than the general wicker. I don't think you can really go wrong, but I really like this type of material um, for your storage baskets or sometimes a tray or whatever. I also like these guys for linen closets or under your sink or anything like that. I think it's, it's nice. And of course you can get the general plain wicker, but I just think get this type of wicker instead of, instead of this. And then of course there's these from Ikea. I actually do have these because they're super cheap. They stack super easily. And I just think they're a very easy way to have a storage basket like under your sink or wherever in the garage. It's just a natural plain wood basic. Okay, and the last item I want to talk about is your television. I feel like TVs can be an eyesore. I personally don't love the look of putting a frame around your TV. I do like the picture frame TV. I do like that. It's a little bit expensive and you have to buy the frame separately. That's the only way I think a TV should be framed. Uh, I, I don't like the look of this. Or sometimes you can put a piece of art over it, but it looks a little bit intentional half the time. I personally think you should try and hide your TV within a cabinet. I know that's not always possible. I don't think I'm even gonna be able to do that at my next place, so what are you gonna do? You can either get the picture frame TV, but I recently found this TV that I'm absolutely obsessed with because I don't know why, I just like the design and it's this like weird Samsung white cream TV. For some reason, whatever's around it just feels old school and I just like the way it looks. I'm going to get this TV. I guess you could get it too if you're in the market. I don't know like about the quality or any of that. I only like the look. And I did a bunch of digging today to see what TVs are out there and there's really nothing with a good design besides the picture frame TV and then this guy, I really like it and I'm gonna buy it. And that's pretty much it. I am very particular with everything that enters my home. I don't like to have things that are too cheaply made or don't have somewhat of a decent aesthetic. I think even if you're buying a sponge, you can just do a little bit more digging and find something that just looks good in your home, if that makes sense, without having to spend a lot more money. I know some of these options you had to spend more money on because they are like nicely designed, but sometimes it's not. You just have to dig. I will see you all on, I don't know when I'm posting. It's getting a little hectic these next few months. I have quite a few prop selling jobs. I'm moving and I'm launching this little project that you will hear about, I think in the next video. So make sure to subscribe. And if you want to see my custom shower curtain, and if you want to see uh, content of my new place in decorating, because I am so excited to do decorating content and less sit downs. I still like these sit downs cause I'm just chatting, but I think it's going to be fun to actually decorate. So mm, stay tuned and Goodbye. <laughs>